I have a lesson in my Canva for Teachers course where I go ahead and put in pictures inside of letter frames and so I saw this idea somewhere and so I'm going to go ahead and edit the course but I thought I'd just go ahead and share it with everybody. To get started I started a new video project to make sure I had a 16 to 9 aspect ratio. I put in this kind of brick background and then a chalkboard image and then a frame and you can put in as many different frames as you want you could use grids of course but since I'm going to be putting in a video that also has a 16 to 9 aspect ratio kinda of want a shape that comes pretty close to that you'll see what I mean in just a little bit so I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate two more frames so I'm gonna select this one hold down my option or alt key and just kinda of drag it over and then do it one more time and then shift click to select all three frames there we go and then under position tidy them up and that looks pretty good I could probably just nudge them over just a touch so that everything's centered and we're ready to go ahead and insert our video now I want fish swimming around in mine so I went ahead and looked under videos and tried several different ones in prepping this lesson and this is the one that I ended up with key to making this work is making sure that the camera is not moving around following the fish we want the camera to be steady and this one's 28 seconds long which is great so I'm just gonna just kinda just drag it down here for now and then going to copy it and paste two more copies drag and drop one there drag and drop one there and drag and drop one there and it doesn't really work at this point because you can see this little fish here here and here it's all the same fish so what we want to do if we're going to create the illusion of the fish swimming from one frame to the next adjacent frame is we just need to resize them so I'm going to go ahead and double click on this and I'm going to move it over so that it lines up as closely as possible with the edge of my left frame and then I'm just going to scale this up until it meets to the edge of the right frame and click then I'm going to double click on this one and again I need to size it up a little bit and I want this one to be lined up about here and then again size it to about there click outside to settle that and then this one here needs to be moved all the way over to the right and scaled up just a little bit so that it's even and so you know, I have to be super careful with this it's okay if it a uh, little bit of the image gets cut off so you want to check this one again okay so I'm going to move this one down so that it's even with the top of my three frames Double check this one, that looks good. Double check this one, that looks good. So let's go ahead and check this out. And you can see the little guys swimming from one frame into the next one. So at this point we're essentially done. And the remaining work is just to go ahead and download it. You can download it of course as a video and upload the video to YouTube or in a second I'm going to stick it into a presentation or you can download it as a GIF file which won't have any sound we don't have any sound anyway so that would have been fun to put in some uh, you know some bubbling sound I'm going to go ahead and download both here and while it's and then I'm going to upload them into Canva and I'll rejoin you in a second so I've gone ahead and created a new presentation here uh, with two pages and I, as you can see I've uploaded them. I have my GIF file which is probably pretty small and my video file and it's just a matter of going ahead and putting them in and resizing them. The GIF will play on web pages so if you want to stick this as an image in your learning management style or you know maybe make a header out of this for Google Classroom you know you can do just about anything with it if a GIF and it loads really fast because they are small file sizes and of course the video is just a video and you can go ahead and play it 
and again it can be part of your presentation so i hope you enjoyed it if you have any questions let me know uh, you know where to find me